Welcome to episode 206 of the All Seen Guys podcast with Greg and Joe. I'm Corsa. I'm Greg. And I'm joined always over the Skypeways by ooh, ooh, ooh. Joseph Jacksonville. Hello. How is oneself? Yeah, man. I'm all right. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I've, got a a fair old, I've got a fair old bit of tired on me. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty tired myself as well. Yeah. I, uh, yeah I've, I, well, I, I fucked my back up last week. Like, Oh, yeah. Big time. At work, um, yeah, I think just at work it just fucking just started hurting. I it's not like a sex injury, it's work related. <sighs> Unfortunately, not a sex injury. It's no. not like um, when uh, what's the name? Leslie Ash um, <laughs> uh, got what from memory having badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember when she got like Her bo- lips got big? She got Botox <laughs> and then she had like uh, she done a fucking spine in in a sex oh, injury yeah. or something. It was just really poorly timed because everyone was just like, yeah, 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 too that's great. But what the fuck is going on with your mouth? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it wasn't uh, I wasn't it wasn't a Leslie Ash situation, unfortunately. Uh, um, okay. But um, I uh, yeah, I was at work um, doing doing my work duties. And then I, I sat down and I was like, oh, fuck, that hurts. And I've had back pains before and it's just been like a sort of sciatica sort of thing. Oh. Uh, well, it's kind of sort of in the same, like it sort of, it, it will start in my back and then it will go to my ass and then it will go down my leg. Uh, right. and it's like three days of that. Um, oh, yeah. This was just different. This was, uh, I, I proper just like put me back out of it. Um, I couldn't really stand up straight. Yep. Um, walking hurt. Um, I, hear you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, uh, at one point at work, I was laying down in the office. And I took a photo to send to uh, my girlfriend, so Rebecca, and yes. um, uh, I, I looked at it and I was just like, I looked like a I'm on a poster of a fucking Wes Anderson film. <laughs> it was just like I was just perfectly laying down. Well, that's all popular at the moment, isn't it? Well, all Wes Anderson go. stuff. Yes, so there it, you go. Yeah, I, I uh, unbeknowingly, uh, beknowing, unbeknownst, <laughs> unbeknowingly. It's a no, it's a, that's an annoying word. Unbeknowing, unbeknowingly. unbeknownst. Unbeknowingly um, to Joe, he I actually looked uh, like a Wet Anderson movie. I, I joined, say Wet Anderson joined, movie. Wet that's Anderson, completely different. Wet Anderson is the porno guy. Yeah, yeah, that's completely different. He, I love that. I love, I love, I love those wet, wet Anderson movies. The cinematography in the Wet Anderson porn movies movie is brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> the Royal Tenon Bums. Oh yeah, keep you it know, coming. I can't. That's the only one I can think of. In all honesty. You provide um, me with some Wes Anderson films, and I'll fucking provide uh, you Fantastic with Fantastic Mr. Port- Fox. Fantastic uh, Mr. Fox. Rushmore. Um, um, uh, oh shit! Hang the on. new one, Asteroid City. Asteroid um, Titties. Yeah. What was the last one? Rush. Hang on. I'm remember. stuck on Rushmore. Oh, Rushmore. Uh, Gushmore. Uh, yeah, Gushmore. A- Gushmore. Yes. There you go. Gashmore. Gashmore. <laughs> um, so yeah. No. I. Uh, sorry. Just to reiterate. I. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, I fucked my back up. Good time. Um, <laughs> To the point that people were suggesting I take up yoga. That's how bad it was. They're Pilates, just like, you right. need to do yoga. Uh, I was just like, cool, okay. And I was like, maybe if I do that, like wrestler guy uh, who started a yoga company, and everyone everyone seems to rave about it. But I've never been, uh, never been really one for. It's just a bunch of stretching, isn't it? Yeah, there you go stretching out. Yeah, just stretching it out. I'll stretch you out. Stretch it out, son. <laughs> Uh, right, but so yeah, so been... that was uh, that was uh, an un- unfortunate start to my week. Um, was pretty feeble, feeble, <laughs> pretty fucking feeble. But uh, yeah, all on all all good now. Ah oh, right. Oh, so it's all back to normal now. All is back it? to normal. Yeah. Oh to, yeah. good. Give it another three months, it'll happen again. Um, can the glorious sunshine today. It's beautiful. It's been a beautiful day. A we're positive. Here in sleeveless, sleeveless attire. We are. We're, we're sleeve, sleeved out. My nipples hanging out a little bit. Yeah, if I yeah. Wanted we're to. sleeveless. Just like I've, I've, I've gone for the Travis Barker cut on this fucking t-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. I cut the seeds off this one. I think a couple of summers ago. Yeah. 
Nice. An old, an old, an old LRG one. Yeah, the the Chicago Bulls vests are going to be coming out again. Soon. Yeah, oh yeah, they'll be coming out again for barbecues. They'll be back out soon. Um, I really want, yeah. uh, I really want you, me, and uh, uh, Ed, sorry, to uh, to get all matching Bulls ones. But we have the <laughs> the nineteen ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight Chicago Bulls big three. Yeah, yeah. Which was Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, and Dennis Rodman. Fuck yeah. The we original, can take it in turns to be different ones. The original formation. <laughs> Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, Indiana's here now. Oh, well, hello. Quickly, quickly say hello, Indiana, because we're, we're recording. You can't just say hello quickly. Hi. Yeah, just say hello. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you? Good. Good, good. I went to my... F- I just went to my friend's house. Did you? Do you have a just nice time? Now. Nice. Yeah. You went to the neighbours, didn't you? Next yeah. door. Cool. What did you go up to? first time. I went in their garden oh, nice. and I got to see their room. Nice. Wow. Very good. Oh, you must be friends if you got to see their room. Oh, right, oh lovely, Jenna. lovely to hear. Right, we're going to carry on recording in Jenna because we, okay, you're going to go back. That's, that's see a ya. good girl. All right, see you in a minute. Go have your dinner. Good girl. Mm. Right, nice and brief. Get it done. <laughs> Get it fucking done. Um, yeah, I've been fine. Uh, no back issues. I, I didn't I, I, I had a few. <laughs> I had a few car issues. All the things that have been looming <laughs> over me since like January, I knew I've had to fix on my car. You're on catch up. Just, You're playing catch up now. I've this just been it. putting off. I just got all done recently. Yeah. Two new tyres, something else changed, a new clutch, which meant I kept. I'm not used to a new clutch. I kept stalling my car, uh, which is annoying. I'm still getting used to that, but that's a weight off my mind, and that's all done. Nice. Like so, I can drive and not feel like I'm going to die every time I pull out my driveway. Um, and today I was, so last night, Lizzie, I had a house to myself last night and I've been looking forward to it for a while. Big wank night of the Armstrongs. Well, not even, <laughs> it was going to be, it was, that, that was part of the plan. That was part um, of the plan. That was part, it was part one of plan. Yeah, but uh, it, it didn't really go, go, go to plan. So I, uh, yesterday shot. had, uh, so Lizzie was up away with work for the night. Right. I was meant to be doing a late shift so I could take in Jan to school in the morning and then mm. she was going to stay at her Lizzie's parents for the night and uh-huh. then her parents were get, took her to gymnastics this morning and a party she had to go to. Right. Because me and Lizzie have literally not long got home. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was my plan. I was out with work yesterday uh, at a head office doing a buy for like uh, next season. Yeah. And then luckily I finished a couple of hours early. I didn't have to go back to the shop. I kind of left this office in London. Always a result. Got on the train. It was a nice sunny day. Uh, it was early afternoon. I messaged Ed and him and Sarah were in Serban. Ah. So I got off at Serban, went and met them. I think I had three beers with them at the Grove. Yeah. And I was back home. Oh, like, we were like back, back in the Grove, were we? Yeah. We're in, well, they were there, so I went and met them there. Uh, I had three beers with them. And then I got home about pff, six, quarter past six, fed Milo. And then next thing I know, I'm opening my eyes and it's like 10 o'clock. And I've just been asleep oh, on the sofa. Oh, mate, you like, fucked just it. Completely, completely fucked it. Woke up. Those 10 three o'clock. beers, man. Those three beers will yeah, do that to you. It did it. I woke up ten o'clock. I was like, "Fuck, shit!" And I knew I had to be up early this morning, which I'll get to in a minute. Mm. So I was like, "Bollocks, fuck!" Um, and I was starving. Fuck, I was hungry. Yeah. So I ordered a kebab. Nice. And I, I, I and and I was like, right, I want it quick. So I ordered. There's one down the road, and I try and order from there. Wait, I'm trying to order meat and chips. Yeah. And it's meat and chips, and it's like lamb, donna, or chicken. Yeah. But you couldn't choose on Just Eat. I'd like go all the way to the checkout, and at no point it just kept saying chicken or lamb. And I was like, what is it? Do I only get to decide? It's a guess. It's a guess. You just, just, so you just I was hope like, for the right. best. So I was like, fuck this. Luckily, it worked out because I ordered that boarding from another place. Uh, it was called like Downtown or something. Yeah. And I ordered standard like lamb. Donna, kebab, chips, some chicken strips, and it gave me, and they gave me a free naan with it. Oh, um, oh, yeah, and it arrived, and it was fucking banging. Oh my god, it was ah. so fucking good. It was really good, and I'm like, this is so good. I need to look up where this is from. Where is this? Yeah, yeah. Couldn't find it showing up anywhere. Really? The address, the address said it was on in like Tolworth Broadway. So I'm looking, can't find it. And eventually I'm like, oh, I think it actually is Spazami, where we used to order our pizzas and chicken wings from. Fuck off. I think it's there. It seems to be the same was place. Was it Spazami? Was it Spazami? Yeah, but 
It's Bazami was what it was called, wasn't it? I always remember we, Pizza Go Go. No, but we had all of the we had all of the few, a couple from Pizza No, Bizzani. Pizza Go Go was when uh, I lived in Villiers Road with Kaz. Yeah, we had ordered Pizza Go Go at the other place as well. But yes, Bazami was the place nearer to you, and that's where we ordered those chicken wings from when Fuck we did yeah. episode one hundred. Yes, it is. But it looks like it was the same place. But it was absolutely banging. It was Fuck such it a good kebab. So I ate that, had a zoo, and then fell asleep again. And then I woke up this morning at half five with Milo going fucking mental because yeah. it's daylight and he's like, fucking feed me. Me, like, me, me. Oh, yeah, the, ha- the cat headbutt. Yeah, yeah, to wake me up. So fucking I got up, cunt. fed him, let him out, uh, had a bit of a snooze again. Then I had to be up London. I had to be in South Kensington for half nine. Nice. Because so I was meeting Johnny and our friend Stephen there because he'd bought tickets for us to go to like a fan made Star Wars exhibition. Uh, the Fan Strike Back, it was called. Oh, nice. Uh, it was alright. It was okay. It wasn't amazing. Yeah. There was some cool stuff there. Was it like um, what, like sort of props and shit, or just? It's not really. Well, it was all like fan. It was. It was like the big. It's like fans' collections on display. Oh, okay. Um, so a lot of it was hot toys and figures. Nothing vintage, but there was like there were some people that had made outfits and they'd made masks and they were like massive suits and stuff. And yeah. There was some really cool shit there. There was one room that literally was like the main deck of like a starship and you had all the ships out the windows that like you're on a spaceship watching them all fly and stuff there were some cool things there but it wasn't amazing nah. but I'm glad I went um, so we went there but that was done by like that started at 10 we, it was done but we walked out and it was like 5 to 11 <laughs> and it was like well Johnny was meeting some friends from work in the afternoon so we just kind of like headed towards Comet Garden go for Bin Planet and a, and a bit of a spend up on some toys. And uh, a bit well, of you know, what, what else are you going to do in there? Uh, exactly. Uh, and then we just hit a few pubs. Like, just kind of stopped. I had a katsu curry burger in one pub. Um, what was that, that was like? Nice. Chicken katsu curry burger. It was quite nice. It wasn't that katsui. I could, it could have done a bit more katsui for my life. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was all right. It was nice. Um, so, yeah, hit a few, hit a, hit a few uh, pubs, had some beers. But then it was, because it was like early... I'm getting to that point of like, right, I don't want to get uh, hung over early. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the worst fucking feeling. Yeah, so I literally, especially you know when we're going to podcast, I didn't want to be like, ugh. So I literally like, I managed to get home fairly quick and then grab some beers. Ta-da. Uh, that's, why, that's why when you messaged saying you were having food, I was like, I'm not going to eat yet because if I eat before, I'm going to fucking crash. Yeah, no, fair. I, I, I need to keep riding with a little bit of this wave I've got so, <laughs> so I don't start fucking... Ugh. Getting all fucking out and uh, tired and Sloppy. fucking thrown out. Um, so yeah, did that. When I was walking through London, I saw there was a woman walking ahead of me. She had a microphone headset on, and she was walking uh, like swinging her arms. What? And she was like, "Come on now, swing oh, your right. hips, swing yeah, your yeah, hips." Yeah, yeah. And behind them was like varied age group, mostly old people, but varied age groups, all wearing matching t-shirts, all walking with their headsets on, all smiling weirdly. And it was a silent disco walking tour. Oh. A silent disco walking tour. I mean, are they touring anything? I think she's like, yeah, and over here's this, but they're obviously listening to music too, and they're like, yeah, 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 walking down the street, like. That's that's one of the shittest sentences I've ever fucking heard. Right, the it's right, so I, shit. I, I, that's why I wrote it down, so, <laughs> so I can say it. That's why I wrote it down, so A I can say it. Silent disco walking tour. Get <laughs> fucked. Get go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Oh, they go seem to be enjoying yourself. it. Got them out. I was in any way was I was the I'm assuming in some way that the music would be representable to the area of London they're in, or it's just going to be London calling Who by the Clash knows. playing the entire time. It's being silent, I had no idea what they're listening to. Um, it's got like Panic on the Streets of London playing on repeat. <laughs> also worth mentioning here that on uh, my. Facebook memories from eight years ago today I posted this saying the all seeing guys Twitter is now up it's not anymore I've taken it down hey. um, but I but the, what I'd written in there was the all seeing guys podcast of Greg and Joe coming in June someone has to speak up in a world where cheeky Nando's is a thing <laughs> and so that means next month we're officially hitting eight years eight years of, since we've I mean they're probably already recorded Eight by years, now. Eight we would have recorded and, them all by now. Yeah, eight years well, and two hundred episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't. When you say eight years, it sounds wow, that's amazing. When you say, oh, we've done over two hundred episodes, it doesn't sound as impressive. It's, I mean, it's fucking bonkers, right? If you think of obviously, it's we've done it every every two weeks, two weeks for eight yeah. years. That's, that's yeah. sweet, right? That yeah. does that does mean that we've only really released like twenty six episodes every year, yeah. given given give or take. Yeah, isn't that mad? Um, whereas if we did it once a week, which in all honesty, I would find boring and impossible. Yeah, yeah, it would have been too hard. Yeah, yeah. We would have only done it for four years and still released 200 yeah. episodes. It's incredible we've managed to do it every two weeks and not we've never missed one. No, um, never missed one. But we, it's, we've it's, actually released more episodes than that because there are a lot of in-between episodes and extra sure, ones and special yeah. ones we've done and radio plays and stuff like that. So there yeah, are yeah, extra yeah. out there. Um, I just think... Um, yeah, it, it's so funny that if we'd been doing this once a week for eight years, we'd be on fuck what uh, four hundred like episodes or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, like, yeah. I like I don't get me wrong, like it'd be podcasts, double the amount. Yeah, <laughs> podcasts that run like do once a week, absolutely fine. If you like, like yeah. not a problem. But there are a lot of shorter episodes. Yeah, but like I don't, I just don't think we have the attention span for that. <laughs> no. no, no, all the time. No. Um, yeah, people have... Uh, we were originally going to do it weekly. It was me... And after we recorded those eight episodes, it was like those six episodes in advance. I was like, should we do it every two weeks so we can... This can... This, this can... Yeah, because we weren't... Us all this time. We weren't entirely weren't sure. sure when we'd be able to record again. Yeah, exactly. But, um, um, so, all worked out gravy. Well, there you go. It's a nice, um, little, nice little memory there. Now, this episode, I need to say to everyone, all the listeners... Thank you, because you've basically handled all the content for this oh, episode. Oh, yeah, thank you. Nice. Like, you've, you, you've literally handled all of it. Every, you've, you've handled all the content, from all the geese drops and to what we also can look over as well. Go go get yourself a sweetie. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Thank you, everyone, for making this easy for go us. Go get yourself a sweetie. And on Speak that note, you. I'd say we should go into geese dropping, where we hear snippets over a conversation, heard by you, us, read them out of context. What does it mean? What did you hear? What did you hear? What the fuck did you hear? So, a few geese jobs right now. One here. I'm not sure if this is one that Sam sent. I've got some, a lot of few voice ones. Lovely. I um, uh, I have one from uh, Luke. Luke sent me one. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Luke. Fucking top fuck shagger. Yeah. Top shagger. <laughs> top shagger. I need to go to uh, Sam sent us a voice message on 10th of May. No, is that it? Nope. I've got to find it. 10th of May. Oh, fucking what? Here we go. God, that's so here we go. 10th of May. That's why I wrote down the here date. Here we go. On, there on we go. Notes. That's why I did it. So, first one written down. I'm not sure whether Joe, uh, Joe, whether Sam sent this one. But I've, I've got <coughs> Aurora Joe. Don't be a twat. <laughs> oh, God. Is that what someone's called their child? Aurora Joe. Oh. Don't be a twat. I mean, great parenting by calling your child a twat. Yeah, I um, agree. I. I am in by that standards, Lizzie would be the best parent in the world. She was like, just, a there's or just something. something funny about <laughs> so, like a, an adult calling a two year old child a prick. It's just amusing it to me. It is funny. Right, I'm going to throw up Sam's one first. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> throw up Sam's one first. Here we go. Nice little voice message from Sam. Fucking every time I turn the phone around and it turns off. It's technology, man. Is dropping, having a northern listen. This is one <laughs> day, uh, these bunch of lads on the way to the train station. Uh, one of them said to the rest of them, ha, quality gear and quality pants is all I need. <laughs> yeah. Quality gear and quality pants is all I need. I hope he dies from quality <laughs> gear. But quality substantial gear. but only substantial bants. <laughs> substantial I hope it's bants. the I hope it's the lack of bants that kills him. And Gareth not the quality sent, gear. Gaz sent a, a audio message earlier, but I've not listened to it, so I don't know if it's a geese drop or not. I've not had a chance I, to listen to it yet. I did not have the time to listen either. Um, no. Sorry, I'm being really loud. Like, opening I almost don't want to press play in case it's not a geese drop. What if it's just him on like a big racist rant? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not exactly. that Gaz is racist or anything. <laughs> exactly. Although the last time he sent the voice note, it was the it was a really good plot to the Fast and the Furious Eleven. <laughs> he's whispering anyway. I can't really hear. I have to listen to it later. Um, that's such a dad move like he's trying to not wake his kid yeah yeah he always says whispering ones doesn't he whispering <laughs> whispering drops um, who are you talking to before we go into Top Shaggers one I'm going to do the ones that Fran <laughs> sent me cool okay right uh, did I do these ones already no here we go yeah 
So, first one she sent me. He's a... What does that mean? Rotund? What does that word say? He's a rotund... Rotund? Rotund. He's a rotund retard. <laughs> no, rotund. Like, he's fat. Yeah. He's a fat uh, retard is basically what he's... <laughs> he's a they fat fucked fucking... someone... They fucked someone in Brighton in the throat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And she was like, these are from Jacko. Ah. I was like, okay. Then she sent me a screenshot of a picture of Jacko's phone. And Jacko has the title, Things People or I Have Said. Excellent. And underneath I have, she's got tonsil stones in her gunt. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, classic Jacko, killing women. <laughs> as a Donkey Kong as a Donkey Kong fan I was fucking outraged <laughs> and the last one didn't your nan used to say goldfish lived in budgie cages <laughs> Jesus Christ then that was followed by hello it's Jacko here one and only, the biggest boy in the room. Big boy! Uh, be quiet, I'm I think it was with Luke, Luke and Fran. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I, um, the next day, I did get that followed up by another one from Fran saying, if I want to have a piss, I'll fucking piss behind a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Why a bike? <laughs> I don't know. I guess that was another Jack. I've got, <laughs> I've got a feeling. And I don't want to, I don't want to imply... But I've got a feeling he might have said that whilst having a piss behind a bike. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. <coughs> Could be. I, um... Really? Let's just get fucking... Let's just meet Jacko in in the in the <laughs> Druid's Head Garden and let him read out the fucking maniacal shit. Uh, oh, yes, shit. the outside studio, yes. The outside studio, that is... Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. That'd be good. Well, that would um, be good. I guess that's a perfect time for me to um, uh, provide you with Luke's one. Yes. Um, I'm assuming this this potentially could have been from the same night. Potentially, um, yeah. But he sent me one through and it just says, two blokes playing pool. <laughs> it's like hitting a woman. Get it over with quick. <laughs> Take your word for Jesus it, mate. Jesus Take Christ. your word for it. <laughs> Brilliant. Take your word for it. Um, in the, I've got in the some... history of domestic abuse... Yes. Is it quick? I, I feel like it's. So. I, I feel like it's prolonged. I feel like it's dragged out. I have got a couple more audio ones, but I'll, I'll save those to the end. I'm going to do the ones I've got to read out here. So Ashley sent us one. Sick. Thank you, Ashley. And yes, put, Ashley. And he put three o them youth cock wobbles at a bus stop. Wombles. <laughs> three o them youth cock wombles at a bus stop. Oh, cock right. Wumble com, one. Com, three cock wombles. Yeah, it's just what got he's it. calling them. Yeah, cock yeah, wombles. Yeah. Cock wumble one, mate. I wouldn't eat your mum if I was a zombie. Cockwomble 2. Ha! I fucking would. Milf, mate. Cockwomble 3. <laughs> Cockwomble 3. How would you even know he's got a mum? <laughs> nice. Logic. You never know. These never days, know. You never know. You never know. Separation just, percentages are high, mate. You just don't know. Now, Stu. Word up, Stu. Yes, Stu. Has sent us a geese drop as well. Fucking and he said. Cockwombles. Sent- <laughs> and he said, having a listen, two primary, <laughs> sco- two primary school children, one of them says to the other, thanks to you, I had to eat all the ice lollies and I got a massive brain freeze. Now, these two girls can't have been more than nine or ten years old. <laughs> After a short pause, the other girl replied with, well, that serves you right, as you're a bit of a fucking animal. <laughs> the F word was said very la- the, the F word was said very loudly. After a few seconds of silence, somewhere further back, one of the girl's mothers yells out, "Did you just use the F word?" The girl replied, "Sorry, mum." The yeah. girls then both ran past me, and I heard one mutter, "Your mum's a right bitch." <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's amazing. That's Thanks, Steve. That was an entire interaction. I like that. That was great. That was a geese conversation. That was, wasn't it? 
And then Tree sent us a lovely little one here. Yes, Tree. Which is quite a question, which I'm, I'll put... The key shops doubles up as a question I'll put to you. I don't want to make Luke feel threatened, but Tree, Tree also yeah. equally, equally, equally a top yeah, shagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, tree, um, tree's geese job. This also works as a question you, you can answer. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel I've already answered this in uh, many years ago, but the geese job <laughs> was, what sauce do you want to drop your balls in? <laughs> Gravy. I obviously, I obviously had a mishap once with the uh, spicy Doritos yeah. dip when I dropped my balls. But that in wasn't by choice, bedding. Greg. That wasn't by choice. It wasn't by choice, but you know. Um, yeah, I'd probably say gravy. Oh, gravy! I see. Mm. Oh, lovely, mm. jubbly bit of gravy. Bit of gravy on my balls. Bit of gravy like that would be good. Balls. Right. I quite enjoy that. Quite enjoy a bit of gravy on your balls. Mm-hmm. It might be a bit fucking hot though. Well, obviously, I'll cool it down a bit, Greg. Like, right. Okay. Right, we've got some geese drops from Owen. Thank you, Owen. Owen oh, has come provided? through this week. Owen has sent two awesome geese drops, and he's also set up a list for later on. Here we go. Oh, yeah, and a second one. Two posh girls behind us. Oh, wait a minute. That's, I've jumped the gun. I've jumped the gun. He sent more oh, than that. Shit. Here we go. Fuck. Pub geese drop. Couple on a date. Girl turns to the guy. You've watched Babe to death. Guy. Oh yeah, that's my post-festival I'm about to die film. There's nothing left of me. <laughs> babe, Sorry, what? that was babe. babe. You've watched Babe to death. He did follow that up with, in case you can't hear it properly, that was Babe. <laughs> the babe. pig film. Babe, okay. the pig film. That'll, that'll do, pig. That will do, pig. <laughs> you, that's his happy, I don't want, that's his happy film. I thought he said that was his oh, film yeah. that he wished he wanted to die for. <laughs> Oh yeah, and a second one, two posh girls behind us. We thought we'd do a bar crawl in Isha, but we got to the second place and they wouldn't let us in, so we went and got a kebab. <laughs> no, they didn't. I don't know that many places you can bar crawl in Isha. I did reply right. asking Owen that, and he did say just there's just about enough. Just about enough. What yeah. constitutes a bar crawl? Like how many? Is, I mean, you know, I would what, say I would what say constitutes an orgy? I would say more than two. More than two? No. Well, I'd it's say more than more... two would emphasize a crawl. You've literally gone to three different parts. I'd say you have to be. It'd have to be more than two, at least more than well, two. Well, I mean, like physically, but I still feel like three is a low number for a crawl. I feel like that's so just four. moving about, moving about a bit. So four. I'd say five. Nice round number, even number. Mm, it's not an even number. Five's not it's a just, nice oh, fine. Even it's number. A, it's, it's just a, it's just fine. It's just a number. It's, it's a nice number. It's a nice milestone number. <laughs> it is a nice it number. Is. It is a it's nice, nice number. Five. It's where uh, it's like Nathan Barley, where it says uh, it's the my, his mobile phone. The number five on it is uh, the button is massive because it's the most common number, and it's the, that's a feature on the phone. It's such a fucking stupid show. Yeah, um, it's a stupid show. It's great though. It's fucking great. Don't get me wrong. I um, laugh every time. I, by the way, just to re- I have. Furry been enjoying rewatching Reno nine one one still. Oh my god! But there's only two. There's only, there's, only, there's only the first two seasons on now, and that's it. It's all there is. No. There's nothing else on there, and I've they're, and, they're, and they're taking it off soon as well, which is annoying. I don't uh, know. So who, I got to um, source out the other the film or whatever. Like, anyway, there, been enjoying there's nothing it. on Paramount or anything. I don't have Paramount Plus, which is annoying. Mm. Um, right, another one from Owen. Here we go. Given you guys like taking the piss out of my various geese drop intros, you're going to love this one. Microbrewery on an industrial state geese drop. Oh, I think uh, I've been there. A bunch of workmen sat outside chatting about social shit. I, I think dubstep is like real life music. Because, you know, whenever I do tripping drugs, I hear dubstep in my head. And then about two minutes later, they're complaining about gig venues shutting down. It's not, no moshing, no crowd surfing. Next they'll be telling us no fucking booze. Might as well turn us into fucking France. No, mate. They still fucking love a riot in France. <laughs> you know what? It's true. It's a valid it's fucking point. It's a valid point. The French know how to riot. They do know how to riot. Uh, Cardiff gave it a go recently, didn't they? <laughs> they did. Oh, that, fuck that shit. <laughs> fucking knobheads. Cardiff gave it a go recently. Fucking Cardiff did give it a go. Um, uh, yeah, that, those were the geese jobs. So thanks everyone who sent those in. That was fucking awesome. Appreciate that. Was that was superb. And as always, if you ever hear anything slightly ridiculous, overheard. 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 I'm overheard. Um, I'm overheard. 
Yeah. Now. Just, uh, well, uh, I mean, you know, until I can speak properly, yeah, send us your geese drops. Send us your geese drops. Keep them coming. You know we love them. And badger stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw another badger. I've got to say, I Fuck did tell off. you. I messaged you. I messaged you, didn't I, to say I, oh, I yes, saw one. Oh, yes, you did. One. Yes, sorry, yeah. I was driving home from work. So not even down my road again. I was driving home down the same road where I saw that scary, that thing, you remember a few months ago, right? There was the weird guy in the suit crossing in the middle of the night yeah, in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on that road. Your and fucking I saw big, creepy pasta story. Yeah. I saw a big badger and a little badger. I oh. slowed down and they're both walking alongside the road. Oh, that's nice. And I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. Yeah. Nice. That's very good. Then someone overtook you and ran them both over. Yes. Yeah, then I killed them. <laughs> yeah, then I, then I swerved violently towards them. Right, okay, so here we go. This story, this news article was sent to me by Tree. Thank you, Tree. It's excellent. And I like this. It's, it makes sense. Okay. A horrified guest who was staying at a posh Hilton hotel in Nashville, Tennessee, woke up to find the manager in his room sucking his toes in bed. <sighs> what the fuck? The guest was fast asleep when he was awoken to a weird feeling coming from the foot of his bed. Oh. The man told police when he the man told police when he opened his eyes to see another man at the end of his bed, head down, with his mouth clamped round his toes. Now, now, this is not a uh, description you want to have. The suspected toe, the suspected toe sucker, no. David Neal, fifty-two has now been arrested and faces charges over the bizarre incident, which is said to have occurred on the 4th Avenue South Hilton Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> the, man, the man was awoken in a strange manner on March the 30th. The hotel guest immediately confronted the toe sucker and allegedly recognised him as a hotel employee who had come to fix the TV the day before. Neil, who was arrested on May the 5th, made, made a key card to get into the room and entered around 5 a.m. He uh, told police he was worried like a ab- White Lotus episode. He does. <laughs> he told police he was worried about his guest welfare as he could smell smoke coming from the room, so went in to check all was well. Police said now was never reported smelling smoke to any other employees, and there were no other reports of guests or staff smelling smoke at the hotel. He is now charged with aggravated burglary and assault. Uh, the room key was not being recovered, and Neil allegedly told investigators he'd thrown it away. The weird act seems to be becoming more and more popular. Dr. Laura uh, Deitch. Yeah, TikTok, Deitch uh, TikTok trend, is it? A resident sexologist explained in a feature of a Cosmopolitan that a toe suck is known by another name. Oh, are you ready? Uh, hit me, absolutely. What would you? What? 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 What name would you give toe sucking? What? What to a person that sucks? If toes? you were going to say, oh, he's like you know, oh, he's you know, towing, but not towing. towing. What would you say? Um. Oh damn, that's a good question. I'm not, I'm not saying you can guess it. I just want to know what you would say. Um, fuck. Uh, toes, toes. Man oh. on man toe sucking. <laughs> I don't know. Um, searching for Cinderella or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Simply known as shrimping. Shrimping. After the popular shellfish because of the similar shape. <laughs> 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 I guess that's all right. I just I feel like there's better options. It is, we- it is strange that it's like yeah, it is weird that not that it's called not only is it called shrimping, but it's also becoming more and more popular. Just people suck it. Like, I, I get it in the heat of passion if you're with two consenting adults, oh, fuck but yeah. you're literally going into someone's room and sucking another man's toes. Greg, we've all seen Devil's Advocate. There's that exactly. white scene. Exactly. And and even, even, it, even then, she's a bit concerned. Even then, well, obviously... He's, she stops he's, him, doesn't she? And she's like, where are out. you? He's tripping out at the time because he's, yeah, yeah. he's having sex with two different people, um, but not. He's like, he's yeah. basically having a bit of a breakdown. And then she puts, like, her toes up in his face and he's like, I'm game. Sticks him in her mouth. And then all of a sudden, he, the woman turns back into his wife. Yeah. She's like, what are you doing? That's she's weird. like, where are you, baby? Where are you His right wife now? is also Charlie Theron. Exactly, yeah. Who was fucking banging. Yeah, uh, this <laughs> this article does end with a bit of a blinder. In two thousand and three, a former Newport Beach youth 
recreation leader, what a fucking title that is, was found guilty of 22 felony counts of lewd act, of lewd contact, conduct, mostly for sucking the toes of more than a dozen young boys under his supervision. Ew. Ew, that's such a weird fact just to fucking throw... Wait, was that Isn't about it? the guy they caught? Or was this... No, this is completely different. Just another, just another like, oh, one just, involving it. Just in case you uh, got to the end of this article and you wanted more toe investigations, yeah, uh, in case here's you're one after, for you. In case you're after more toe investigation, yeah, there well, was like, also... If you want more toe-sucking arrests, here's one for you. Here's one for you. Now, I, obviously you listeners can't see this, but I'm going to show Joe a picture of the guy who was doing the toe-sucking. Yeah. Can you see that? I can't see myself. Yeah, 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 I can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't yeah. see my... Well, all right, down a bit. <laughs> I can't. I, mean, let me, I can't see this video. There we go. If I do that, right now I can see. Yeah, he looks like a toast. He looks like a shrimper, doesn't he? <laughs> he looks like a shrimper, <laughs> yeah. He looks like old, ch- old shrimpy. Old shrimpy Steve over old there. Old shrimpy, shrimpy, shrimpy. Steve be shrimping. Nice bit of shrimpy, shrimpy. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's it's a bit, it's a bit far fetched. Like, I wonder why far fetched. It's a bit far fetched. Or to, like, I mean, man's playing with fire. He's doing yeah, just going into something. How desperate must you be to give in to that urge, that that fetish that you're fighting the urge of so much Uh. that you to give in to the point where you give in and go enter. You're an employee at a hotel. You enter a manager. The guy's room five in the morning while he's asleep, and then just fucking go to town on his toes. Doesn't make sense. It's uh, you, there's so much risk involved, unless he's also into risk. Unless he's also into risk, he's in. He's a risky shrimper. Which would explain everything, in all honesty. Mm. He's just like, I need the ultimate risk. What is it? All right, I need to do like a really perverse act, which isn't yeah. too perverse, but it's kind of like freaky. Risky and, uh, shrimping. I, risk, I need to do a risky bit of shrimping, but at work to a complete stranger. Also, five in the mornings, fucking unhinged. Yep. Like he's just. Yep. He's so many elements. He's got all the yeah, ingredients. Yeah. Like no he's... wonder that made the fucking news. He's a risky shrimper. He's a, ris- He's a risky, risky shrimper. shrimper. <laughs> You're gonna suck on your toes. <laughs> your toes don't stand a chance. What's I get yes. going? Can we please? Can going? we? Can we please start recording songs again? And can we record risky shrimper? Risky shrimper. <laughs> He's a risky shrimper. We'll do. I'll do the black guy bit, uh, and you do the <laughs> Phil Collins bit. <laughs> I can't remember the guy's name. I'm really sorry, but there's a that's a duet song, and uh, it's black guy, is it? <laughs> black guy. It's just black guy. He's when I was young, I just assu- when, when I was young and apparently a racist, I just assumed it was Eddie Murphy. So, <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, Owen sent us a list. Did he? A list, a few mini lists, maybe. A very good list. Maybe the greatest Maybe. bar Harry Bishop list that Harry did many episodes <laughs> the list back. The bishops will never, will never fucking die. This is the American Consumer Product Safety Commission list. Uh, well, well, they released the list recently. It's a recent one mm-hmm. of all the things hospitals found in or- 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 orifices yes. last year, 2022. Yes. Now we have we have visited this before. A different list, similar. Do you, remember, um, do you remember when we went to that podcast meetup that uh, George Grimwood had organised? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a girl there who wasn't actually a podcaster, I don't think, but she was a friend. No, but of... we were chatting to her, weren't we? Yeah. We were We were chatting to her. She was just like, oh, I'm a nurse. And immediately oh, we were yeah, like, cool. That was it. What's the weirdest thing someone's had, like, had up their ass? And she just was like, oh, fuck, yeah, I love this question. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we were just like, oh, these guys are like... These these guys don't have a fucking moment. They were like, But also, we weren't trying to hit on her. Like, we were just sort of just like, sweet, a nurse. She's got to have some great stories. Let's fucking yeah, hear yeah, them. Yeah. Let's like, do bang. It. Um, I love the opening to this article here. If you've ever put anything inside yourself and gotten it out again without needing medical attention, <laughs> congratulations. Things went way better for you than they did for many of these poor <laughs> souls. <laughs> So this is all American. This is all in America. Hey, Greg, I'm the 1%. <laughs> I'm the 1%. <laughs> all these reports are taken from the US Consumer Product Safety Commission's database of emergency room visits. Okay? Mm-hmm. Right. Guess what the first... Or- oh, my God, this is a long one. The first, the first orifice is the ear. Okay. 
Okay. Some of them are pretty standard. Some of them are questionable. <laughs> yeah. Like a, like a BB shot from a distance. I can get yeah, that. I understand. It's fine. Easily uh, happens. Was, it's a small was pellet. Seen, was seen for earache, but found to be positive for cocaine. Okay, that's not too bad. Right. Insect. Yep, I can yeah, see that. I've I think I've had a buggy I mean, I've, I've seen a load of those on Instagram recently. Yep. Charger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Simply charger. Non-specific. Uh, yep, just charger. Cufflink. Tried using a knife to cut it out, but was unsuccessful. Jesus Christ. That's Monkey fucking, noodle. How, how, much, how bad must have you panicked just to get a knife and put it in your fucking I don't ear. know what a monkey noodle is, but... A monkey noodle. Yeah. He's on it. He's having a look. I've got you. <laughs> no, it's some of these now. Monkey noodle. What, something that sounds like a racist insult. Of course I'm going to fucking sound... Google it. <laughs> it does sound like a racist insult. I like that insult. also I've just searched monkey noodle. Of course it was if it sounds like a racist yeah. <laughs> thing. That entire sentence has just been searched. And it's just like, yes, you are. Yeah. Goodbye. Right. Literally did the whole thing. Um, What you got for monkey noodle? Um, it is... Oh, okay. It looks like to be some sort of uh, toy. Noodle. Like a, a stretchy noodle. Like... Oh, oh yeah. Indiana's got those. Okay. All right. right. Uh, As you two, were. Two earbuds. In one ear? In one ear. How is that fucking possible? How fucking big's your ear? Big. <laughs> Abnormally big. large. To the, point that large I, to the point that I, I looked at my ear and said, I wonder if I could fit two earbuds in there. <laughs> Can I fit two of these in there? Shitter. Now things take a turn. We're still in ear territory here. <laughs> plastic owl. How big? Doesn't say. It just says plastic. I'm going to fire off these ones because this is just no ear. It's not as exciting. to any of this stuff? No, no. It just says plastic oh. owl. All right. Plastic sword. Jesus. Lollipop. Hmm. Mistakenly used shoe glue instead of eardrops. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumbass. Lighter fluid. Piece of ice cream cone. <laughs> I'm assuming the tip. Doing magic trick at school, put a pencil eraser in ear and was unable to retrieve it. Oh, yeah, I think that's quite a common one, that. Battleship game piece. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Candle wax. Oh yeah. Um, la- last one for ear. Fruit fly. Ooh. Fruit fly was on her headphone, which she put into her ear and felt buzzing. Used hydrogen peroxide to kill the fly, but with persistent burning discomfort in ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hydrogen peroxide. It's gonna fucking hurt. Right. Ready? Nose. What are we going to find in noses? Eh? Cocaine. This be a... Cocaine. Cocaine. Condoms. Cocaine. Um, I don't think any of those are on there. Fuck. Uh, used match. I, 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 you know what? Some of these really require more explanation. Tic Tacs. Again, why? <laughs> like, why? It's not I like necessary. The actually, I like the ones that actually have the description of like of like the the medical notes. Yeah, says he was smelling a magnet and it went up his nostril. <laughs> <laughs> I love sniffing magnets. Like it's. I mean, what's that called? Ooh, sniff a nice magnet. What's what does that? this magnet smell like? I wonder. Yeah, what's that? Fucking... Oh my god, it's in my nose. <laughs> But where's the Tic Tac come from? <laughs> That's up there. Um, was that related worm. to the magnets? Gummy worm. Was that sorry? No, can we could the, the Tic Tac one? Was that related to the magnet? Nope, just says Tic. Nope, separate, separate. Okay, so, part, so one of them was the magnets list. and one of them was Tic. I I thought the two were connected, and because you nope, said I love the descriptions, you yeah, said yeah, Tic Tacs yeah. and then mentioned magnets, and I was we've lost. Got, we've got another description here. Put an LED light in her right nostril in attempt to prank her brother, but then was unable to get it out. Great, perfect, brilliant. My Orange favorite pill. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, I guess uh, probably some fucking TikTok health remedy. I wonder what the orange smells like. Yeah. <laughs> orange, you fucking cock. Glue. Jesus. Piece of computer mouse. 
<laughs> Which piece? <laughs> Just piece of Nons- piece of They couldn't mouse. even recognise. <laughs> couldn't even, like, look at it and be like, I don't know what part of the mouse this is. <clears throat> was it the oh, ball? I've broken this computer The mouse, mouse ball? Oh, stick this in my nose. Yeah. I did. I have stuck a lollipop up my nose once. Now, um, this one... Oh, class stand, yeah. This one standard, weird. like it's like <laughs> you mean standard, <laughs> like a oh, typical Joe. These last three are strange. Are they still up the nose? You just still. It's the last three of nose. Okay, I am skipping some that aren't that exciting. Yeah, because one of them and nose, they're simply vitamin D. <laughs> Sunlight <laughs> on there. Sunlight. Right. <laughs> this one makes no sense. A book or a bug? How did you confuse the two? A book or a bug? What, they couldn't comprehend if it was a book or a bug? That's all it says. What? And that is followed by diesel fuel. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> People be huffing, man. We're the kids of America. Yeah. Whoa. Fucking hell. And, and a lovely little round up here for nose. And I can see maybe how this happened if you were having a whiff. Cheese. <laughs> what kind of cheese? Well, we're going to take things up a notch now. We're going to go to throat. Excellent. Okay. Cool. We're gonna. <laughs> so I've just seen one halfway on the list. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! First on the list for things stuck in throat. Yeah. Steak knife. Fuck <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's just someone who got stabbed, surely, at a steak restaurant. No steak way knife. did they put it like down their throat. I'm sorry, waiter. I seem to have misplaced my steak knife. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you when enough. you bought over our food, you're, this is gonna seem crazy. Um, when you bought over our food, <laughs> I mistook my steak for the knife <laughs> and I ate it. <laughs> what did I you got cut? The wrong way. Yeah. Around. What did you cut? Why the knife? is it called a steak knife if you can't eat yeah. it? <laughs> what did you cut your knife with? Well, obviously the steak. <laughs> obviously the steak. You fuck it. Don't look at me like I'm an idiot. Oh man, steak knife followed by a small flashlight. <laughs> which, I... <laughs> which I guess you use to find the steak knife, I don't know. And I, I think probably they were just like checking. They were just like they were just sorry, no, you said steak, didn't you? I, <laughs> I uh, <sighs> maybe they were just sort of like looking in to see if it was like cutting them and they just dropped it in there as well and it's like, well, they'll get that out as well, don't worry about it. This one's good. Expensive coin from coin collection. <laughs> <laughs> Insulin needle. <laughs> oh, fuck. A stack, not one, a stack of staples. Get that stuck in your throat. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> That's like something out of saw. <laughs> Followed by a magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> What now kind? you see it. Wait, wait, what? wait. Well, no, hang you on. don't. Well, hang on. Because I'm aware of two types of magic wands. And one of no, them you... one of them is very, very big and vibrates. My God, this throat list is mad. Magic wand. Free cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Free cigarettes. Three. Did he put the second one down to try and push the first one down? No, no, no. He's done them all in. It, he's simply that is that is a pub talk. He's just like, how many cigarettes do you reckon you could fit in your mouth? And he said three. Let's and he's find just out. Put them in, and his just throat just opened up and just took the lot. Oh my god! This next one. Patient says he forgot to take the foil off the foil wrapped burrito. <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> you fuck it, mate. America's We're the a, kids of America. Mate, America's a third world country, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Tea bag. <laughs> left it Video the, left game it. controller. Video game controller. Fuck video off. game. Have you seen the size of video game controllers recently? Yes. Not even recently. They're not small. Full stop. They, they're all going to be too big to be stuck in your throat. Yeah. Well, anywhere. Dart. Oh. <laughs> now, when it says stuck in throat, I'm assuming this does mean swallowed and not just like like jabbed in. It just means uh, stuck. Yeah, they had to seek medical attention because it was stuck in said said orifice. So this is stuck in throat. This isn't like swallowed. A this is stuck. Dart. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so some of these are really specific. Gingerbread man shaped brooch. <laughs> <laughs> That is, 
That's too specific. <laughs> Threw three coins up in the air and caught them in mouth and swallowed them. <laughs> that, I mean, to be fair, the amount of times that I've been down the down the cocks and oh I ended my up with god my, in the beer yeah yeah my change in my pint or that was my cat fucking, wasn't it oh, yeah fucking every time um right. i can't believe i never swallowed coins no nor can i last one on the uh, throat one uh-huh. yeah uh, there, again quite a quite a specific thing here a small key to a diary Maybe it was like, no one's going to read this. She is just like, she is just like the man who I killed was doing so-and-so. The, all the secrets of something. She's just like, well. Right. Oh. We're down to the last three lists here. And my God, these are going to be the best ones. Um, right. So I'm assuming we got belly button, like vagina and ass. Penis, oh. vagina and ass. Not even the belly button. And I'm gonna. I'm. I. I have questions I, about I'd the say penis go, yeah, ones. Go, I, I reckon penis last because ours... no, Well, no. I'm gonna go in order because the because the it's oh, penis, fine. vagina, then rectum, but rectum's quite a big list. <laughs> of course it is. Um, but uh, penis. The first one concerns me. Khaki. Oh, oh. what were they trying to unlock? <laughs> that's, not, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. Shove the fucking car. Key I mean, this is this is the whole uh, up their penis sounding sounding down stuff, their penis up is... their penis down their penis. No, it's what down. It's down. It's definitely down. down. Let's just go into. That's because it's ass is up and penis is down. You stick so... stuff up your ass, but you stick stuff down your penis. Right, so you've stuck a car key in your dick. I haven't. Don't say. I I don't know why you're <laughs> fucking saying that. that's me on there. That's not me. Uh, number like, one, Greg, I don't drive. <laughs> right, you've stuck my car key in your dick. I did, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was jealous of your driving uh, skills. Next one, wooden spoon. Oh, now, that Brit, now, wood's not something you want to be sticking in your dick. I, I mean, you like, don't, you I don't know want to be sticking metal in there either or anything, nah, really. Like, but I mean, I know a wooden, wooden smooth spoon? is like smooth down, but like it's... Oh, that's and still... I, assume, I assume that means handle first, not like head bit oh, first, because that wouldn't go in, right? No, it's not physically possible. Nail. Oh. Oh, fuck. Nail. Again, as I said, this is all the whole sounding kink, isn't it? This is oh, it. yes, of course. So yeah. it's just people I, like not getting the correct sex toys and just finding... I like, I like, I like this one. Some beads. <laughs> <laughs> some beads. Just some. Seven inch silicon tube. Seven inch. Yep, seven inch silicon tube. Oh god. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Paperclip. Oh god, that's the worst. That's bad. That's right? really bad. That's bad. <coughs> that is bad. <coughs> oh, it's making Joe feel a bit sick. Uh, I don't know. It's this just is. like. Oh, actually, I do know what this is. Oh. If the oh, just bad. one little one little nick, one little like nick or like mm. slip. Oh. This is bad. Comb teeth. That's like the bit on a brush, right? On a comb, right? Yeah. That's fucking horrible. Oh. Um, Piece of soap. A cleaning went wrong? Yeah, I guess so. They were just cleaning it and their their apparently knife-like penis shaved a bit of fucking soap off. We've got a description one here. Are you ready? I, I don't think I am, but let's go for it anyway. Ceiling fan chain in his penis hole states it has been there since his shower at nine last night. Ceiling, sorry, ceiling fan chain. Ceiling fan chain. That is unhinged. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, and then this one, I guess it's an obvious one, but still I'm not saying it's, you should be doing it or it'd be nice, but Pencil. screwdriver tip. Pencil's on the list, yeah. Pencil's oh, on there. Fuck. Screwdriver I, tip. You know what? I'd probably choose screwdriver over a fucking pencil. Yeah, I probably would too. Flatable sex toy. Yeah, okay. Imagine USB this is, this cord. Is what our, this is what our saw scenario would be, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. Stickers in a room with a bunch Choose of one from this list yeah. to stick up your dick. You have to yeah, choose yeah. one of these items to stick down your penis. Um, but it's uh, also in conjunction with it's kind of like the the scene in Indiana Jones where he has to choose the Holy Grail. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. if you get it wrong, fuck, if you get it wrong, you're in trouble. USB cord. Oh, 
What were you right. trying to again charge charging your penis? Charge your penis up. Last one for penis. Cell phone charger aimed 14 inch cord. Aimed a f- aimed how a 14 you, inch you... cord. That's a I... cell phone charger as well as a 14 inch cord. Now, in that situation, that's two things in your penis. That is that is a lot to have in your penis. That's more than one thing. One thing's enough. Two. Um, do you? I'm assuming the uh, the cord was coiled up. I mean, that's an assumption. I don't think it would have been. I don't, how the fuck are you getting 14 inches of wiring into a <laughs> dick? Like, <laughs> I don't understand, man. It might not have gone all the way in. Yeah, well, then that's an irrelevant piece Who knows? of information. <laughs> Right, Jesus we're going to move on to vagina here now, people. Vagina. Now, vagina, vagina there's a lot of... There's vagina. plenty of vagina. <laughs> now, there's plenty you could probably put in a vagina, but let's see what Americans have tried and put in there. I've um, heard uh, an urban legend, and I can't... Right. I, I, this, I, I, I can't confirm nor deny this. I don't have enough information about it, but I do believe some women put penises in there. Oh, right. That sounds a bit far-fetched. Um, <laughs> no, but think honest. about it. Surely. Why would you put penises in there? Well, you could put coins in there. Oh, well, or... you know, because you want to pretend to be a uh, machine in Las Vegas. You want to be a purse. Yeah. Screws. <laughs> Screws. Uh, this one. This one's great. Was holding a pen near her vagina when the cap dislo- dislodged and got stuck inside. <laughs> I was just holding a pen near my vagina. I always hold a pen near my vagina. You know what? This this entire list or these lists have just reminded me. I've literally just sat here and remembered just like, oh, hang on. Someone told us a story about this recently. And then I just realised that we can't talk about that story. No, we can't talk about it, no. <laughs> um, we'll save that the, for the Patreon. The, <laughs> this one's um, concerning. Two, not one, two pencil sharpeners. Oh, fuck you. Oh, what was she trying to do? Hoping someone uh, well, like a man, like hoping a man wouldn't notice, and he'd... a man uh, hoping a man who's got a fucking pencil shoved up his dick would come along. <laughs> <and help. laughs> we were made for each other. <laughs> Take my shavings. All right, I, I like the random ones. Butterfly charm. Yeah, I, uh, I mean drinking cup. As not whilst I'm pouring, Greg. Not whilst I'm pouring. <laughs> Um, fucking hell, a drink, I mean, again, questions, I mean, what, a shot glass, or like a pint glass, or... It, just says, it says drinking cup. Drinking cup, that could be anything. Golf ball, you can see that. Yeah, I can understand that. Flashlight placed in vagina by patient at home, but had no intention of it becoming stuck. Yeah, I mean, no, none of these people on these lists intend <laughs> for it to become stuck. Nail polish bottle. Drumstick. Oh, uh, mate. You've got to get that pretty deep to get it stuck. Yeah. A drumstick. That's got to be pretty deep to get stuck. I mean, to literally be stuck where you can't physically pull it out of your own vagina. That's got to be pretty up there. You've got to, like, have sat on that. I had a flashback just then, just to... A... What, so when, <laughs> you, when, you, when you had a drumstick no, shoved up your ass? I remember, like, I remember leaving the fighting cocks with a drumstick, and I genuinely had to sit here and think, hang on, did that go up my ass? I left for, I left for a drumstick once. Yeah, right? I think, yeah, yeah. I, I think we... <laughs> I think we left with the pair of sticks together. Yeah, and shoved um, them up our asses. Well, that, I just had to think. Ass I was like, hang to on, ass. Hang on, did I, did I put that on my ass at any point that night? It sounds like something I do, just for a laugh. Uh, lens, camera lens cap. Fuck off. Camera lens cap. In uh, the vagina. Pat. Actually, no, camera in the vagina, I can cap. understand that. I can, I can understand that. Uh, uh, couple, last couple here for vagina. Soap dispenser. 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 Mm-hmm. And my favourite, spatula. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Spatula. I like the idea of them putting the spatula in, uh, just so that the actual like the head of it's out, and then just sort of like still using it to cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now like we flipping a pancake or something. <laughs> <laughs> still doing it. It's how I cook. Um, we're now entering rectum. Brilliant. I'm ready Which for is, it, Greg. I am ready for things it. Things that have been shoved in assholes. We're going to get some random ones in I'll tell you this. what. I'll tell you what better be on this list. In this. I'll tell you a, a fucking warhead from the World War II better be on there. <laughs> uh, plastic toy fish. 
What, like one of those singing ones that you press the button? <laughs> yeah, they sing. Yeah. Uh, small bird toy. Okay. Silver magnet. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of magnets. I was just smelling it with my ass. And it got stuck in there. <laughs> Sent in. This one's weird. Sent in by wife for possible 16 ounce glass bottle in rectum. Did you ever did you ever see the um one guy one jam jar video? Yeah. I think Oh, I you did, actually saw, saw it? An, did I No, maybe I saw an image of it. Ugh. You know what? No no wonder the fucking world's fucked up because they've, mean, had the, they've had the internet for 20 years and they've just seen all the worst possible they shit. They just yeah, yeah, I've just seen it all already. No, maybe I didn't see it. Maybe I saw an image of it. Oh, I feel like I would God. remember more if I had. I that feel is, like I saw an image of that it. That is fucking horrific. That is horrific. Um, right, let's continue with rectum. Um, light bulb, is that up there? I'm sure, well, maybe we'll see. I haven't seen it. No way could you get it. a light bulb in someone's ass. No way. Um, <laughs> piece of lamp. Which piece? The light bulb? Piece of lamp. That's the closest we're getting the there. Fucking lampshade. Handmade toy out of metal. Imagine, imagine, imagine the toy craftsman who has also got an interest in um, the in the medical field, and he's going through this list, and he's like, "Oh, Ugh. cube shaped toy, like a Rubik's cube. Nice bit of cube, crayon." Uh, ratchet wrench, T handle wrench. Going uh, for this your dad's one, toolbox and shaking up your This ass. one says was says was in the shower and fell, and the shower stopper stuck up rectum. Yeah, the old classic fell. Action figure head. No one's believing that. Action figure head followed by action figure. <laughs> well, maybe the head just got disconnected whilst it was in there. He actually just Toil- stuck the whole thing in there. Toilet brush. Yeah, I can What's imagine the, that. Are you cleaning it? Yeah. It's the same as the spatula, Greg. Patient complaining of rectal pain. Patient admits to inserting sex toy up rectum six months prior. Fuck off. Six months? Mm-hmm. Yep. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That's a long oh, time, Greg. That, that is a, a long, long time. That is a really long time. <laughs> Spoon. <laughs> Actually, no. Because if that spoon bit first, oh dear lord, that's fucking awful. Yep, that is bad, isn't that it? It's hideous. Deflated balloon. I don't know if it was inflated when it went up there. Or they stuck it up there, deflated, and then someone's tried to like blow it up whilst it's in their ass. Yeah, possibly. That's a good thought. Eh? That's a good thought. Shove it up there and then blow my arsehole up. Yeah. Vegetable peeler. Oh, fucking hell. They're yep. not... That's not... That's not a good one. one. No, that's not a good one. It's not conventional. Patient states he has big toy stuck in rectum. Yep. Patient states he fell on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> of course he did. Purposely. Uh, th- oh, this is great. Had a few beers and then placed a long wax candle into his rectum, lost balance and fell onto couch and lost hold of the candle. Ah. At least he, at least he threw a few beers into that one, just yeah. to be like, oh, I was a bit drunk. Yeah, I was really a bit funny. drunk and I had a candle stuck up my ass. For, for what reason? It was, oh, I was um, sealing my own letters. I uh... <laughs> Say's girlfriend put vibrator in his rectum when he was asleep. <laughs> Well, that's you've been sexually assaulted, sir. That's what. By the way, I, what I have you've done there some... is you have accused your partner. <laughs> you were so embarrassed by what happened that you've yeah, accused, yeah, you've your, accused partner your partner. Of sexual you haven't assault. got a part though. Yeah. Um, I have skipped some. I have skipped quite a few that are just you know basic kind of like you know. Comb, I mean the arse. You there's know, more pill as, container, more cologne bottle, been in people's perfume bottle. Than, oh well, yeah. There you go. Yeah. You know, patient says he was playing with a container of athlete's foot spray and accidentally accidentally ended up in his rectum. (laughs) (laughs) I love that people like they're so panicked that they get to a point where they're just like, this is this is the most like (sighs) this. This is the best I can do (laughs) in an in, in the way of an explanation. And I was they're... just playing on my phone, and it ended up in my rectum. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Greg, we've all been there. 
Um, yeah, oh I love that they're God. like in the like they haven't got a lot of time to work with, so they're just like, okay, think, 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 think. Why would think, why think, think, think. why would this be in my ass? Why would it be there? Why why would because it be I up fell? My ass? Why did I fall? Because the floor in the shower was wet. Why was it in the shower with me? Because I was sticking in my oh fuck oh, I just... I've done it again. Plastic candy holder. Well, like a Pez. It says plastic candy holder. I know, I know, I know, I know I'm asking questions and you don't have the answers. I don't have the answers, like... no. Um, <laughs> piece of broom handle. Um, so the broom handle then? <laughs> I guess the broom handle, but a piece of it. Who is this girl called broom handle? She sounds, this, she sounds Dutch. This is great. Put in butt plug, then fell asleep. Now, can't find butt plug. <laughs> oh, no, I heard that's right. Yeah, you're not uh, you're supposed to take that shit out. Yeah, you're not supposed to put them in when you sleep. Don't now, the doctor told me to go home, put a couple of, take a couple of butt plugs and then get some rest. Don't sleep. It's not a suppository. It will not, like, dissolve inside your ass. Right, we're down to the last four here. The final four, eh? Stainless steel rod. <sighs> I feel like that's not going to be good. This one, I have... I can see why, maybe, but ice cream cone. It's just going to get soft and horrible, isn't it's it? It's just going to... Isn't it just going to... I feel like it's not going to withstand the force needed That's, for yeah, insertion. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Monopoly piece. Doesn't say what piece, just says Monopoly piece. What's your guess? Uh, the car. Top hat. I was thinking top hat, <laughs> but I think the car might go in a bit easier. Yeah, no, fair. Or just rolls and rolls of the money. <laughs> just, <laughs> the entire board. Like. Or he had he had Mayfair and Park Lane, and they, they were they were under threat. So he just stuck them houses. up his ass. Right, the last one. Now I've got a bit more respect for the last one because they do <laughs> they do actually kind of say why. Okay, two poker chips because of a bet. It's fair, but I do want to I do want to hear the wording of the bet. Because if it was just like, can you stick two poker chips up your ass? It'd just be like, well, yeah, of course. Oh, my God. I just realised there's comments on this article. (laughs) (laughs) Greg, it's not an article. It's a medical diatribe. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Uh, Well, Uh, before you uh, get into the comments, can you... I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm just curious. Please reveal the number one splot. Splot. That was it. What? What was your number one spot? No, I thought there was one more after that. No, I said there was four. Stainless steel rod, ice cream cone, Monopoly piece, and two poker chips. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Okay. And then um, we got to here. You know, I really feel like in the long run, it's probably just better to get over the uncomfortableness of purchasing a sex toy uh, than just finding random appliances that shouldn't go up your ass. <laughs> like, at least, at no. least purchase something that's literal purpose is to be up your ass. <laughs> Like, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you rather go through? Like, wouldn't you rather just purchase something and potentially someone find it than yeah, yeah, just yeah, to yeah. like then for you to go through the ordeal of having like a metal rod up your ass <laughs> and then having to go to hospital and then having to explain that to absolutely everyone? Like, yeah. Well, how embarrassing. Yeah. Oh my god. To be fair, the comments are more to have been shocked by what they're reading. Of course. Like this guy here. I can't believe somebody could, one, get an ice cream cone into their ass, or two, would need medical care afterwards. Yeah, fucking right. It would just turn, <laughs> as you said, it would just turn into paper mache afterwards. Someone's like, I can't, what they put? I can't find chicken nuggets on the list. No, put chicken <laughs> nuggets on the list. Why? Because you wanted no. to feel normal for sticking chicken Most nuggets Most of them are ass. just commenting on people falling on them. The, com- the people that say that they fell on them. Hmm. Um... <laughs> I think I'd I wouldn't I'd just come out and just be like I've got this thing stuck in my ass. I was curious. Yeah, Get I got out. curious. I stuck a steak knife like, steak knife it. in my throat. I stuck a steak knife in my throat. That's clearly like some sort of weird like tip. This person was a doctor. I have a great x ray of a patient who I helped take care who who I helped take care of who swallowed a nail clipper and some AAA batteries. Jesus. Fucking hell. I'm surprised there weren't batteries on there. Yeah, that's true. To be fair. Greg, um, I thought there'd be weirdest, more batteries. Weirdest thing that's been in one of your orifices? I don't think I've ever had anything weird in them. I don't think so. You aren't living, my friend. I don't think I have anything too weird in them. 
uh, had a high school substitute teacher who was an x-ray technician. He'd bring in interesting x-rays to entertain the class. Two that always come to mind. A drunk guy was at a bar dancing on a pool table. He tripped up and landed on a cue stick that was lying up against the wall. I can believe it that. went through his trousers, supply, su- su- precisely up his you know what, and travelled midway up the inside of his chest. Blech. Fuck off! Uh, the other, a guy was fixing his car in the garage with a friend. An argument broke out, and one guy took a screwdriver and rammed it into the top head of the other friend's head. Punctured his skull and lodged himself perfectly between the right and left spheres, missing the brain. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. That's an attempted murder, that. That's not Screwdriver even... in the penis. It's a December to remember. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why specifically December? Maybe that's uh, when he left the comment. What? Someone's... What? How do you clench your penis? Someone's having discussions here about muscles and penises now. That's mad. That is fucking insane. Right, well, there you go, guys. Fucking, that's Sounds a lot as of, unhinged uh, as the uh, a, a comment section in Reddit. There is a lot of fucking penis action going on on that fucking list. Holy Shh, hell. Jeez, I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to think of... I'm, I mean, in all honesty, I'm looking around my room right now and looking for stuff to stick in my ass. So. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go now. Yeah. What can I shove up me fucking... Fucking penis and me fucking What's, ass and what me is, ear what would and me you, nose. What would, like, again, so in a sore situation, you fucking wake up in a room, fucking little little puppet comes cycling into you and it's just like, there's a, ta- <laughs> there's a table here with a bunch of stuff on it. Stick one of them in your dick hole and you can live. What's the, what's like, what would Ooh. be something? Not like small as well. It's got to be like, let's say that screwdriver is like entry level. This I don't no. know. I'm, Fuck. I'm, hold, I'm holding a model X-wing from Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's hefty. That could do some damage, couldn't it? Yeah, that could make sounds as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I've even got an and aside from this X-wing, I've actually also got a massive X-wing hanging on the wall next to me that yeah. is literally like the size of my torso. Well, I mean, there's no need to there's no need to show off with things that you can stick down your. <laughs> See what else I can get up there. Stormtrooper. Yes. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt's like, tail. It's like, <laughs> really inventory. Good. it's like inventory in a computer game. How many stormtroopers can I get up there? <laughs> this is what happens in a game like where you where you're just like where, you know like you like Grand Theft Auto where you're able to like carry like eighteen guns and it's like where does exactly. it keep them? <laughs> Dickhole. 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 Man. I see on that note, that brings us to the end of the episode. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, you was what, a, mate, that was sun, a lot of fun. Sunglasses, uh, uh, oh yeah, bit. sunglasses that would, would go in nice. there. It's would a, be nice. It would be nice. Got a bit of curvature to it, so maybe don't go past the curve. I've also um, got a full fur on lightsaber as well. <laughs> that could do some damage. I feel like just for a laugh, just if you I know, sat on that and lit it up. A my eyes glow, my mouth glows on the inside. I try and do uh, smoking trick, uh, smoking tricks with my penis, <laughs> and just stick a stick a spliff in there. Let's do that. Um, yeah, okay, everyone. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks to everyone who sent us in. Uh, oh my stuff. god, guys. Owen, who sent us that amazing list and Valiant, us that awesome art. Valiant efforts. And all the geese drops, really appreciate it. Awesome. Really fucking cool. Um uh yeah, fucking I can't thank you guys enough. It saves me. I've, we've had a busy week, so you know what? The fact that I didn't have to prep anything was fantastic for this episode. So appreciate, really appreciate the contributions, that. guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. We'll be back next time with other things to talk about that are probably mental yeah uh, on that note I've been Greg loves the smell of magnets oh one shoved in me Armstrong <laughs> oh dear yours yours always fucking just completely knocks everything out of my head I can't remember what I fucking I don't know um, there was a whole list to use I know there was a whole list to use um, fuck it I've been Joe uh, wakes you up at five in the morning to suck your toes Jackson <laughs> Suckle, suckle. Thank you. Goodbye. The All Seeing Guys podcast is part of Podnose, the UK's leading independent entertainment podcasting network. For episode archives of The All Seeing Guys and all of the shows on the network, visit us at www.podnose.com. You can also follow us on Twitter via at Podnose or send us an email via admin at podnose.com. 